Nefertiti, also called Nefertiti, Nefertiti, Queen of Egypt and wife of King Akhenaten, formerly Amenhotep IV, reigned between 53 to 36 BC, who played a prominent role in the cult of the sun god known as the Atom. Nefertiti's parentage is unrecorded, but as the name translates as a beautiful woman has come, early Egyptologists believed that she must have been a princess from Mitanni, Syria. There is a strong circumstantial evidence, however, to suggest that she was the Egyptian's own daughter of the courtier A, brother of Akhenaten's mother, Tai. Although nothing is known of Nefertiti's parentage, she did have a younger sister, Mutunotid Mumet. Nefertiti bore six daughters within ten years of her marriage, the elder three being born at Thebes, the younger three at Akhenaten's Amerna. Two of her daughter became queens of Egypt. Akhenaton and Nefertiti under the sun god Aton. King Akhenaton left with Queen Nefertiti and three of their daughter under the rays of sun god Aton. Egypt, mid 14th century BC, in the State Museum Berlin. The earliest image of Nefertiti comes from the Tibet tombs of the royal butler Ranifer and the vizier Ramos, where she is shown accompanying her husband. In the Tibetan temple, known as Hard Ben Ben, mention of the Ben Ben stone. The Ben Ben was a cult object associated with solar ritual. Nefertiti played a more prominent role, usurping kingly privileges in order to serve as a priest and offer to the Atom. A group of blocks recovered from Karnak, Luxor, and Hermopolis Magna, Al Ashmunon, shows Nefertiti participating in the ritual submitting of the female enemies of Egypt. She wears her own unique headdress, tall straight etched, flat top blue crown. A group of blocks recovered from Karnak, Luxor, and Hermopolis Magna, Al Ashmunon, shows Nefertiti participating in the ritual submitting of the female enemies of Egypt. She wears her own unique headdress, tall straight etched, flat top blue crown. Her sexuality, emphasized by her exaggeratedly feminine body shape and her fine line and garments, and her fertility emphasized by the constant appearance of the six princes, indicate that she was considered a living fertility goddess. Nefertiti and the royal family appeared on private devotional stage and on the walls of non-royal tombs and images of Nefertiti stood at the four corners of her husband's sarcophagus. Some historians, having considered her reliefs and statuary, believe that Nefertiti may have acted as Queen Ragnant, her husband's co-ruler rather than his, co his consort. However, the evidence is by no means conclusive, and there is no written evidence to confirm her political status. Soon after Akhenaten's 12th regnal years, one of the princes died, three disappeared, and are also presumed to have died, and Nefertiti vanished. The simplest interference is that Nefertiti also died, 
but there is no record of her death and no evidence that she was ever buried in the Amirna royal tomb. Early Egyptologist misunderstanding the textual evidence recovered from the Meru Aten Sun Temple at Amirna deduced that Nafatiti had separated from Akhenaten and had retired to live either in the North Palace at Amirna or in Thebes. This theory is now discredited. Others have suggested that she outlived her husband took the name Semenkheri and ruled alone as female king before handing the throne to Tutankhamun. There is good evidence for the king Semenkheri, but the identification in the 20th century of male body buried in the Valley of Kings as Tutankhamun's brothers make it unlikely that Nefertiti and Semenkheri were the same person. Nefertiti's body has never been discovered. Had she died at Amirna, it seems inconvincible that she would not have been buried in the Amirna royal tomb. But the burial in the Valley of the Kings confirms that at least one of the Amirna burials was re-interred at Thebes during Tutankhamun's reign. Egyptologists have therefore speculated that Nefertiti may be one of the unidentified bodies recovered from the caches of the royal mummies in the Valley of the Kings. In the early 21st century, attention has focused on the younger lady found in the tomb of Amenhotep II, although it is now accepted that this body is almost certainly too young to be Nefertiti. Amirna was abandoned soon after Akhenaten's death. The Nefertiti was forgotten until, in 1912, a German archaeological mission led by the Ludwig Bruchard discovered a portrait bust of Nefertiti lying in the ruins of Amirna, workshop of the sculptor Tutmos. The bust went on display at museum in Berlin in the 1920s and immediately attracted worldwide attention, causing Nefertiti to become one of the most recognizable and despite a missing left eye, the most beautiful female figure from the ancient world.